and grab that cup of joe. It's healthier than you know. Could the military be taking cues from Mother Nature's dirty tactics? And the U.S. is H.O.T. hot and getting hotter. We're heating it up on today's Daily Orbit. Hello and welcome to the Daily Orbit. I'm Emerald Robinson. So apparently, drinking coffee all day helps reduce the risk of type 2 diabetes. Okay, well, maybe not all day. A new report says that drinking three to four cups of Joe throughout the day is correlated with a 25% drop in the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Researchers believe the correlation could be due to either the energy expenditure hypothesis, which proposes that the caffeine in coffee stimulates metabolism and energy expenditure, or the carbohydrate metabolic hypothesis, which says coffee components influence the glucose balance in the body. At this point, the researchers can only confirm a correlation between coffee consumption and the reduced risk of developing diabetes. Additional testing will need to be done to prove causation. Well, this is great news. Well, I'm not sure if it still counts with five pumps of white mocha. And how fickle fame is. With the spotlight recently on Curiosity, many may have forgotten that NASA has two rovers on Mars. The other rover, Opportunity, has been traversing the red planet for nine years now, trekking across 22 miles of the Martian terrain. But this week, Opportunity gets an opportunity <laughs> to shine again in the news as it has just completed a walkabout of an area where scientists believe water might have once existed. Opportunity drove over 1,000 feet in a counterclockwise pattern around Matajevic Hill during October and November. During the walkabout, researchers were taking observations to decide which areas to examine next. NASA says that Opportunity is fit and ready for driving robotic arm operations and communications with Earth. We haven't forgotten about you, Opportunity. And America's on fire. And actually, that's not a good thing. NASA scientists presenting at the American Geophysical Union meeting in San Francisco reported that 2012 has been a bad year for wildfires, with 6.17 million acres charred in the U.S. alone. And although that's less than last year's record-setting burn of 7.9 million acres, it's still larger than the amount of burned land in 12 of the last 15 years. According to the climate models and greenhouse gas projections, the climate in the U.S. is only going to become drier over the next 40 years, leading to more destructive and frequent wildfire outbreaks. 2012 is being referred to as a high fire year, and according to current climate models, we should expect one high fire year per decade. But these new models presented by NASA say our nation could see as many as two to four of these years per decade. I fell into a burning ring of fire. Okay, I shouldn't joke, it's really not funny, sorry. Okay guys, here's an app that might help you with the ladies since you seem to never be able to identify our moods. A new app in development, nope, it's not in the app store yet, will gauge a person's mood via speech pattern. The app analyzes 12 features of speech, including pitch and volume, to identify one of six different emotions, achieving an 81% accuracy. Developers are still trying to work out the kinks before it's ready for the market. They say this complex technology could be used in everything from changing the colors on your mobile display to playing music that fits your current mood. Okay, now that's cool. Then I could really have a soundtrack to my life like in the movies. And I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut, so what's up? Okay, guess I'm just in a singing mood today. Researchers at the University of Rochester are developing a deceptive robot inspired by squirrels. Squirrels are notorious for using methods of deception in the wild to throw off would-be acorn thieves. Taking their cues from these cunning critters, researchers developed robots with the ability to deceive each other. In their test, the deceiving robot lured the predator robot away from protected resources to false locations. Researchers say this same technology could be used by robots guarding ammunition and supplies on the battlefield to deceive the enemy until reinforcements arrive. Researchers admit that robots deceiving humans raises ethical questions, especially once the technology leaks outside the military domain. But hey, all is fair in love and war, right? Well, that's all for today's Daily Orbit. We'll see you right back here tomorrow.